Hello everybody, today is day 11 of Make a Video and Do Our Challenge, and this one's going to be really brief. So uh, for this one, I'm going to show you how you're able to open up a document inside GIMP and then select a, a particular part of the text that you want to um, extract and then delete all of the rest of the information. So uh, essentially, you just have some sort of stroke or figure that you can save with a transparent background, and then we're going to open that up in Zernal. All right, so let's get started. So let me go ahead and go over to GIMP. So as you see, I've already opened up a file. It's called um, uh, Inverted Staff Paper. And what it is, it's black, or it's a kind of a bluish black play, uh, paper with tan uh, staves on it. So first off, I need to change my resolution to 700. That's a good uh, pixel level to work with. And I'm going to go ahead and import this image. All right, so as you see, good. So what I need to do is I need to select the portion of this uh, particular image that I want to extract. I don't need the whole thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in and select. I uh, That is Shift-R. Actually, uh, I take that back. That is R. R gives you your selection tool. So you select. A, actually, no, I, I take that back. I'm going to do uh, Crop. So shift C, shift C, and you press enter. And now you have the, uh, the selection. Now what you can do is I'm going to go ahead and open this up in a new document. I don't need the resolution size or any of the uh, settings for the PDF. So I'm going to uh, select the entire area by pressing control A and then control C. Now it's copied to clipboard. Now I can open up what has been copied to clipboard in a new document by um, pressing Control shift v and now I have a new document that is actually the correct, it, it, it's the correct resolution. It is tailored to this particular image. Now let's go ahead and uh, it, you'll notice if I zoom in that I have two, uh, this is a multicolored document, so I want to transform, I want to index the colors so that I'm only working with two colors. For that, I press shift, oh, uh, actually no, uh, the entire document is already selected, so what I need, I need to do is go up to image, and uh, I don't believe you can see this, but I'm going to image, and I go to mode, and I then drop down to indexed. Once I'm in indexed, I then change my palette, to, I use a custom palette, and I'm going to use my two colors, and I go ahead and convert. Now the image has been converted to an indexed value. Once I do that, you can see if I zoom in, you see the hard delineation between the background and the foreground. So now I want to select the part of the document that, I, that is to be deleted. For that, I press Shift-O. Once I press, and then I select any color that I want to uh, to, uh, to select and, and what it does is it gives me my there are two options I can do a fuzzy select or select by color so if I uh, so shift O is the shortcut for that now it's been selected I press delete and now I have a dot a, a background free image okay so now what I need to do is I need to export this as a PNG so control shift E to export and I'm going to go ahead and save it in the same, we'll go to the USB, I need to go to music, uh, video content, and we'll save this. I already have one called Grand Staff, but we'll go ahead and overwrite it. So, replace. And uh, the compression level is fine, we don't need any of the extra information. Now this has been exported. Okay, so next thing to do is we need to pull up our document where we're going to use this, and that is Zernal. So I have Zernal pulled up here, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up. I don't know if you can see the dialog box, but what I'm doing is I'm just going to my file dialog box. Uh, yeah, okay, uh, uh, you can only see Zernal. But what I'm doing is I'm going to my dialog box, going over to my folder where that document is currently being held, and I am clicking and dragging the the image into the document and you'll see it populate here pretty soon. There we go. And that is 
as you see, that is our uh, that is our image that has no background, which means that if I change, um, well, I'm going to go save this as uh, grand staff. So control S to save grand staff uh, example that PDF. Okay. So there we go. So now let's go ahead and click and drag. Not sure what that line's doing there. Hmm. Oh, I, oh it's showing the document orders because I have it on a blank background. So let me zoom in here. And I'm going to go ahead and select this image. And I'm going to go ahead and make it smaller. Well, there we go. So just clicking and dragging the corners. And then zooming in a little bit more. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and just show some basic now we have this I think this is on the background so I'm going to go ahead and press Control L to open up a new layer I'm in layer 2 now and as you see, uh, I now have my my pad my Wacom tablet and so we could do uh, a key signature so the key signature for um, let's do um, A major oh I have it saved under line I need it free form uh we go do okay so this is for a major so it, it uh, you start with f sharp f sharp c sharp f sharp f sharp c sharp g sharp and then that's it uh so key signatures you always stop if they're sharps you stop on the sharp that is the leading tone to the scale name. And G sharp is the leading tone to, it's the seventh scale degree. Okay, so that's for uh, treble clef. And for bass clef, it would be F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. All right, so as you see, we successfully uh, took an image and converted it to, uh, to, to, to have an invisible background, which we could then... Uh, import into this document and then do a demonstration on key, uh, key signatures. This has been day 11 of making a video in two hour challenge. I hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.